What's up, guys? This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, back for another chat about metal. You guessed it. So, before we jump in, do me a favor, please. Click that little button, okay? Just a little baby button. Whoop! Just click that button, subscribe, it'll help the channel out. Be super grateful. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Let's get into it. For the last several weeks, we've been talking about aircraft quality alloy steels. The key qualification for aircraft quality is a very clean steel with testing by magnetic particle procedure, AMS 2301, which provides the pedigree. Magnetic particle examination reveals the number and length of inclusions on or near the surface being examined. Another quality category of alloy and stainless steels that requires a high degree of internal cleanliness is for bearings and related applications. BQ for bearing quality. BQ alloy production requires similar mill procedures during melting and refining, but are most commonly tested for inclusion content by a different method. Originally developed in Sweden by their Jern Kontorit, sorry for the butchering of that pronunciation, which is their National Society of Iron and Steel Producers, this method categorizes and measures by specific types of inclusions present. Known as the JK method, or JK rating system, sorry, JK rating system, inclusions in these steels are examined microscopically to identify both the type and size of the inclusions contained in the material. Samples are taken to represent the first, middle, and last portion of the melt. Using very controlled procedures, the prepared samples are scanned visually at high magnification and rated by comparison to a chart of standards or by a computer analysis of the scan. Inclusion types are A through D for sulfides, oxides, silicates, and do, 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 globular oxides. For each type of inclusion, there is a rating for thin or whoop, heavy. Great. T, H, T, H. Okay. Thin, heavy. I think we got it. So the ratings are in increments of 0.5 with zero representing no inclusions of a rateable size. Maximum allowable ratings are contained within the applicable material specification and may require data on all sampled locations or only the worst rating for each. Another rating system, the SAM or SAM method, rates inclusions on a different scale, numerically expanded, and uses only a single number to rate B and D inclusion types instead of a number for thin and another for heavy. Details of the micro-inclusion rating methods are contained in ASTM E45. Common specifications for BQ alloy steels are ASTM A534 for low carbon alloys for carburizing such as 8620 and 9310. ASTM 866 for medium carbon alloy steels like 4130 and 8640. ASTM A295 for high carbon alloy steels like 52100. ASTM A485 for high carbon, high hardenability alloy steels or modifications of 52100. ASTM A756 is for 440C stainless steel. AMS standards for bearing material also typically incorporate aircraft quality requirements as well. Those materials are both AQ and BQ and would have both magnetic particle and micro-inclusion JK ratings required. For example, AMS 6440 has both AQ and BQ requirements for alloy 52100. And like aircraft quality steel, bearing quality grades can also have a premium bearing quality that requires a second melt. AMS 6447 is an example of premium BQ and AQ for 52100. And so that's going to wrap up today's discussion. But before we do, one last thing. Bet you can guess it. I'm going to tell you. Check the specs twice. And so this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. And thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're new here and you made it this far, Click that little subscribe button because you wouldn't have made it this far if you didn't like metal. 
If you missed previous videos, whoop, there you go. Click it out. Thanks for tuning in. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, and I am out.